Welcome to Kota Station. In order to develop Flutter application, we will require an ID. And Android Studio is one of the ID that can be used to develop a Flutter application. In this video, we will be seeing how we can install Android Studio in our Windows operating system. So let's start. The first thing that we need to do is that we have to open a browser and search for Android Studio. After searching for Android Studio, you will be getting the first link which is Android Studio, Android Developers. In that, as you can see, a site is open and the site will directly detect our operating system and it will uh, it will show us the possible download which is compatible for our particular system. So now it, it had detected that uh, we are running uh, Windows 11 operating system and based on that, it had provided us the suggestion that the Flamingo can be downloaded for a system and can be installed in a system. Uh, you can scroll down. You can scroll down and you can see that the number of uh, installation files links have been provided to us over here. So if you don't want to uh, install what has been recommended and you want to get uh, some uh, exe file that you require for some another system so what you can do you can click on the link and you can download it from this particular location so now we will directly go to this particular section and we will click on this link after clicking the links it will provide us the terms and condition i have read it if you want you can read it and we have to click on this check button and we'll click on this download button okay so we'll directly download it start download. okay so now you can see that the exe file has been downloaded so to start the installation we need to click on this exe file so now our setup is been started so we will have to click on this yes button okay so to start the setup we have to click on this next button then um, will require an android virtual device also where we can test our application so we have to click on this android virtual device if you don't want to install android virtual device you will uncheck it if your configuration is low if your system configuration is low like 4gb so don't go for android virtual device you can run it on your mobile so it will show us the path which is a default fault if you want to change you can change it and on clicking install button the installation will start okay. next we will start android studio so suppose that if you uh, are not installing the fresh copy and uh, earlier also you have installed the Android Studio and you have to import the same setting which you have done in a previous uh, installation. So what you can do, you can click on this option and you can uh, import all the settings which are there uh, that you have done in a previous installation. And if you want to go for a fresh uh, setting then don't import click on this option and say ok ok so you will be uh, provided with this wizard and using this wizard you can set up your you can configure your android studio so clicking on next so if you want you can go for two setups which is standard and custom 
so I am going for standard one then uh, we are provided with two things like Dracula and light option so I am going for Dracula then it will show us what all tools that uh, that we are installing current setting clicking on next and what we need to do is that we need to accept all the things accept all the license terms and conditions so clicking on this and then we have to click on this accept option button okay so we'll say finish now the components of Android Studio will be downloaded and next it will be installed. Now you can see that it has been downloading. Now you can see that whatever the files which have been downloaded is been unzipped. So now all the components have been downloaded and installed. So what we need to do is that we will be clicking on this. We will be clicking on this finish button and our Android Studio will start. As you can see that uh, we, uh, we are facing this uh, exam installation fail. So I will be creating an another video where we will be able to see how to tackle this issue. So on clicking finish, you can see that our Android Studio has been installed successfully. In our upcoming video, we will be seeing how we will be installing Flutter and Dart plugin so we can start with our Flutter journey in Android Studio. Thank you.